We're in Newport News at the Peninsula Fine Arts Center, where not only can you view art, but you can also create it. Let's take a look around. Painting, ceramics, watercolors, and sneakers are just a few things you'll find inside PFAC. This one small venue has now evolved into one of the most celebrated art galleries in the region. Well, it was actually begun by a group of people in 1962 in someone's yard, if you can believe that. Um, and slowly we moved to different storefronts, different buildings around town, and then eventually uh, the opportunity came along to, uh, from the shipyard, we built um, onto their hydraulics lab. With rotating exhibits that display artwork from all over the world, it's easy for visitors to find variety throughout the gallery. We like to challenge our visitors as well. And that's why we change every couple months or uh, in the case of this particular period of time, we're moving different exhibitions out every month. So there's always something different to see. Over a year's period, we try and create kind of a rhythm to not always have, say, watercolors in every show, but to have some paintings or some historic works or photography or three-dimensional or ceramics and to provide that kind of, really, rhythm is the right word. And the rhythm is one of art and education, where teachers help visitors translate their artistic thoughts and understandings into design. This one seems vertical and, and steady on the, on the table, but this one leans. Why did the artist do that then? The other trick that we have is that, is that our teachers are artists. They're all practicing artists. They've won awards, they've gone to school, they've gotten degrees, they have experience in teaching. Classes are offered throughout the year to let artists of all ages, backgrounds, and skill levels enjoy their craft. In terms of ages, we have, uh, we have four-year-old, four- and five-year-old kids, and we go all the way up to senior citizens. We try and give you a, a beginning opportunity, the chance to try something without having to make a big investment in materials um, so that you can, you can see if it interests you or you can see if you have a little bit of skill. And then if it interests you, then our job, my job, is to then make sure I have someplace else for you to go. Another class to take that says, well, after this little two-day workshop, I'm ready for an eight-session class or a ten-session class that's at your level that you will learn from. For some local artists, PFAT can be their first big break. These works were selected in a competition from among local high school and college students. Those shows a jury. They submit their works, the actual physical works here. We have a juror look at them, select them, and we hang the selected works. It gives them a, a huge lift, um, knowing not only that their art's recognized, but it's being shown by works of their peers, and it's in a professional institution. So it's really great, you know, the, the students will bring their parents, grandparents, friends in. So it really gets a lot of people exposed to art that maybe wouldn't normally um, have the opportunity to see somebody they know displayed in a gallery. The Peninsula Fine Arts Center has created a broad spectrum of interest in all aspects of art in hopes of engaging and enlightening its visitors. Ultimately, I want people to come away with the idea that art can change your life. The simplest way to say it is I hope they found something they like. Because if they liked it, that means that whoever they are responded to an artwork here. And you, can, and, and you take it away with you, and it has a tendency to stay with you for a while. Between exhibits and classes, there's plenty to do here at the Peninsula Fine Arts Center for people of all ages. For more information, log on to www.pfac-va.org. For Hot Ticket, I'm Stephanie Sutton. Visit cox11.com for all of the programming information on Cox 11 and stay tuned for more Hot Ticket.